So Samsung just announced the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now the big question is, is it worth upgrading from the Galaxy Note 9? Let's find out. The Galaxy Note 10 Plus is a lovely looking device. It packs in a lot of specs, but for some people, the Note 9 is okay and it's worth it. But in this video, we're gonna see if the upgrade is actually worth it with the Note 10 Plus and what it brings to the table. So looking at the specs, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus comes in at 6.8 inches. It's got an infinity O display, meaning the front facing camera is centrally located within that display. It's a gorgeous display. It's a QHD display, HDR 10 Plus. As you know, Samsung makes one of the best displays in the market, so it looks really good. Now the Galaxy Note 9 also had a really good display, uh, but of course it wasn't an infinity O display and it has thicker bezels on the device. So when you look at them side by side, you can clearly see that the Note 10 Plus has a uh, bigger display in terms of screen to body ratio and also has less of a bezel. So if you care about those kind of things, then maybe the Note 10 Plus is the device for you. Now, when we look at the internals of what this device offers, uh, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus comes with the Snapdragon 855 processor, one of the best processors in any Android phone currently on the market. And the Galaxy Note 9 comes with a Snapdragon 845. Now, the 845 is a great, very good chipset, did wonderful things last year, but 855 is much better, better CPU performance, better GPU performance. And in terms of gaming, this, this uh, processor does really, really well. We did some gaming on the Note 10 Plus. We're able to also capture our uh, screen by doing some screen recording, which is a new feature on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And we're also able to capture um, through the front facing camera to record my face, record what I was saying. So you can record your gameplay clips, which is something that is unique and different with the Note 10 Plus over the Galaxy Note 9. Now, this feature might come to the Galaxy Note 9 later on, but we don't know that yet. So at this point in time, that is a feature I would say the Note 10 Plus has over the Galaxy Note 9. Now, besides the 855 processor, we're talking about, of course, you know, RAM. The Note 9 comes with up to eight gigs of RAM, while the Note 10 Plus comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM standard. Your storage also starts at 256 for the Note 10 Plus, it goes up to 512. You can expand that via micro SD while the Galaxy Note 9 stops at 512 and you can expand that as well. So there is some benefit in terms of storage and RAM with the Note 10 Plus, but I'll say that's a bit of a wash just because most users usually use about 256 gigabytes of storage. So in terms of batteries, the Galaxy Note 9 has a 4000 milliamp battery, which is great, while the Galaxy Note 10 Plus comes with a 4300 milliamp battery much bigger, giving you, of course, uh, longer battery life. Plus, charging on both devices are different. The Note 10 Plus comes with a 25 watt charger in the box, but can go up to 45 watts, meaning you're gonna be able to charge your Galaxy Note 10 Plus within an hour, as opposed to 15 watt charging on the Galaxy Note 9. So again, there's an improvement there. And if this is something that you'd like, then it definitely works out for you. When, in terms of wireless charging, the Galaxy Note 9 charges at 9.5 watts, while the Note 10 Plus charges at 15 watts. So another improvement here in this case, uh, for those of course who are into productivity, want longer battery life, want faster ways to charge your battery, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus has the advantage as well. Now, when it comes to software, both of them are running the latest One UI um, software from Samsung, which is running Android 9.0. Um, but there are other features built into this that I think uh, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus takes advantage of. It's got a brand new editor, so you can edit your photos and videos. A simple editor that at least takes advantage of what you have with the uh, processor on this device. Then you also have some really cool features with something called Play Galaxy Link, which allows you to stream your PC games directly to your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Uh, this works independent of any of your gaming services, be it Steam, uh, uh, Origin, or Ubisoft Play, where you can play all your games directly on your smartphone wherever you are. Now, this feature can and may come to the Galaxy Note 9, but currently right now, it's gonna be available for the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. Now, another feature that's also baked into the Note 10 Plus 
is linked to Windows. Now we all know well that Apple has AirDrop and it's a great feature for you to of course dump your files from your smartphone to your laptop uh, or to another device. Linked to Windows is something that Microsoft created that allows you to do some of that by dumping of course your images from your device to your laptop as well as also being able to answer your text messages on your laptop. Now you can do this directly from your Galaxy Note 10 Plus by just dropping down the notification bar and clicking on link to window, signing in and you're good to go. That feature is not available on the Galaxy Note 9. If you want to use that, you most likely have to update or maybe download the app if that app is available for the Galaxy Note 9. Now, there are a lot of features between both devices that are very, very similar. The S Pen functionality is uh, to its core the same uh, with both devices. Uh, Samsung stated that the Galaxy Note 10 Plus has an improved software writing, so it's easier to uh, recognize your handwriting style and signature on the Note 10 Plus over the Galaxy Note 9. But I think the S Pen itself as a writing tool is very, very similar. Some of the differences with the S Pen stem with the ability to do it for write to text, basically writing and transcribing your text and easily sharing that to through your email or different application. The process is much easier on the, the uh, Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And another feature that is also uh, new to the S Pen is Air Actions, the ability to use your S Pen to do more, especially within the camera app. Uh, with, with the Galaxy Note 9 last year, we're able to flip between the front and the right camera, and we're also able to take photos with the camera app using our S Pen. This year, that feature is expanded, where you now have the ability to navigate through your menu. You can also zoom in and zoom out of an image you're trying to take. You can flip between the cameras, and this is great, of course, if you're taking uh, a photo with a group of friends, family, or you want something very specific. So those features are baked in there. Another feature that is different between the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and the Galaxy Note 9 is the fact that the Bixby button is gone from the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Some of you will be saying, yes! Well, if you didn't like Bixby, it's still there, but it's mapped on the, under the power button. So you have to kind of press and hold uh, to get Bixby activated uh, on the Galaxy uh, Note 10 Plus, while the Galaxy Note 9 does have that dedicated Bixby button but you can also remap that button on your Galaxy Note 10 Plus, so you do have that feature built in there. Now, I think overall, both devices are really solid. If you were looking to pick up a Galaxy Note 9, this probably might be the best time for you to do that, because currently, at the time I made this video, it's priced at $700, and once the announcement hits, it's probably gonna drop in price, so it's a good deal for anyone looking to pick this up. But if you're a Galaxy Note 9 owner already, and you're thinking of upgrading, this also might be a very good time to upgrade because Samsung is offering the $600 trading value for your Galaxy Note 9, which is the value of a brand new device. So trading in makes a lot of sense, at least at this point in time, for the Galaxy Note 9 to the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So there you have it, guys. I'm sure you can make up your minds to see what you like between both devices. If you have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, smash that notification bell and always enjoy entertainment.